Hello everyone and welcome. Today on the chopping block is Mitama's training for Hinano. Although the archive is filled under Ali and her, but just ignore that for now. We start out with a white feather scheduling an appointment with Mitama, and I was totally waiting for Mitama to make a joke about how stiff the feathers are acting and that they should probably remove what, whatever it is they have stuck up the nether region and act more like real people again. But before we can really think about that, we move over to Hinano. Hinano is about to perfect another potion and she fucking broke it and almost killed herself in a chemical explosion but at least she learned a valuable lesson and so she tells the kids that if they deal with chemicals at school and cause a chemical explosion they are entitled to recompense via suing the school for gross negligence for allowing them to concoct chemical bombs in the first place. Hinano then reveals to Emery that she is still trying to grow taller and because she's only like 145 centimeters tall and if you don't know how much that is in the wrong units, you will need to look that up for yourself. It's time to learn the real units. Hinano tries to do the conversion herself, but faints immediately. You guys wanting everything displayed in feet and other body parts? Just knocked out Hinano, thanks America! But her girlfriend is there to carry her over to Mitama, who is not a doctor. So Mitama, who is not a doctor, just gives her a grief seat and she's fine again. Hinano still doesn't want to give, grow, give up on growing a few inches, fuck, I mean centimeters, and wants to keep developing the height serum even though it almost killed her five years ago, which led to her wish, which was Kyube. I wish to not die horribly from the toxic gases I accidentally caused by fucking up my experiments. I am confident that these gases will cause the skin on my face to rot off and cause me to turn into a corpse so vile it will become the eighth wonder of the world for pure putridness. So Kyube, if you could make that not happen, that would be great. Hirano also reveals the Shogeki no Chichitsu. <laughs> that she really likes long legs because she once lost it after a teacher who also had long legs. Emery gives her the I feel you and tells Hirano that she might be gay. Since Hirano is still in denial about her gayness, she instantly despairs, even though her soul gem was just cleansed, but just ignore that part. There's, there's no problems in the writing here, don't worry about that. And she is about to witch out but gets conveniently sucked into a labyrinth that just appears out of nowhere. Hirano talks to her witch and doppels, but in an absolutely shocking turn of events that had even the most astute viewer and connoisseur of Mitama training stories in absolute disbelief, Hirano just says no to her witch and tells her she is accepting the problematic parts of herself something which we have now seen only for the fifth or sixth time, which causes her to wake up again. Hirano is glad that she has so many gay people around her and accepts her own gayness as she walks off into the sunset with her girlfriend as Alina enters the scene. Alina reveals that not only did she create the labyrinth for Hinano to have her episode in, but also she wants to do the gay with Mitama, because of course everyone wants to do that. Now that the summary is over, let's talk a little bit about Hinano. Of course, the idea behind Hinano is that Hinano is a good person worthy of recognition, who is beloved by her senpai and other people, including some guys, but she puts ideals of beauty on herself that she herself cannot possibly conform to and then grows desperate when she realizes that she has trouble living up to those self-imposed ideals while shunning the people that do like her because she is not confident enough to believe in herself and then she goes right back to pursuing her own ideals that she cannot actually achieve. I myself uh, actually know quite a few real people that are just wonderful, absolutely great people um, that I myself and plenty of other people give plenty of recognition to. Um, but the thing is, they themselves, they cannot stop beating themselves up because they have this misguided ideal of who they should be. And this ideal is then usually something that no one else can even possibly actually achieve. But even if you walk up to them and then tell them like, hey, you're a great person and we absolutely love the things you do, they still won't stop beating themselves up because of something that they cannot actually be. Now I'm sure everyone out there probably knows someone like this. It's a fairly common flaw that a lot of great people have and it, it is a core personality trait of Hinano that Emiri is doing her best to help Hinano with, which is probably what the order of people who ship Emery and Hirano are trying to make a point out of. 
On another side, uh, Hinono projects all of her shortcomings onto her being small, which is of course a terrible thing to get hung up about, simply because it's both something that's not your fault at all, and it's also something that you cannot actually do anything about. It's very different from being overweight, for example, since that is something that is your fault and you could do something about it if you put the effort in. As such, it's rather obvious that Hirano uh, trying to become taller is both misguided as well as just pointless, but at the same time it's something that I myself can actually empathize with Hirano quite a bit. So I myself, uh, I am 168 centimeters, and to throw you guys out there who are using the wrong units on bone, uh, that's 5 foot 6. So to summarize, I'm 5 foot 6 tall, 26 year old computer science mastering German who is also bald and into anime mobile games. Also, I am single. And I'm not quite sure why I just said the same thing twice. At least I did have a girlfriend in the past and I did the thing, so don't worry about get that, guys. But the point I want to make is I can empathize quite deeply with uh, the struggle that Hirano is going through. Uh, the idea that their outward appearance is like driving other people away, including potential romantic partners, uh, which is something that Hirano repeatedly struggles with herself. Even though we know for Hinano that there are plenty of people who love Hinano for who she is, but she's just unable to accept that because of her experiences and because of what she tells herself. Ultimately, what it comes down to is accepting the way you are and the, that the people who might long for you will never reciprocate, but instead you need to understand that you already have a bastion of people out there who love you for who, who you are, who you can fall back on, and those people will welcome you with open arms. Sorry for getting a bit real towards the end there, and I didn't even get to call Hinano a gremlin yet. So anyway, that was the Mitama training story for the gremlin. Hope you guys enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.